Studies have shown that users of common desktop systems have difficulty organizing and finding information within hierarchical file systems, managing schedules and reminders, making use of archived information which users normally discard so they aren't overwhelmed by it, getting a big picture, and integrating with outside information sources. Livestreams is a system designed to address these problems. Livestreams uses a simple organizational metaphor, a time-ordered stream of documents, to replace conventional files and directories. Stream filters and software agents are used to organize, locate, summarize, and monitor incoming information. Livestreams is a system capable of subsuming many separate desktop applications to accomplish the most common tasks such as communication, scheduling, and search and retrieval. Our current Livestreams interface presents the user with a receding stream of documents, starting with the present and receding into the past. Document creation dates are displayed beside the document. The user can browse a stream by moving the mouse button over the stream, receiving a glance view of what is in the document. The user can open any document for editing or viewing by clicking on the document. We use MIME tag documents and helper applications to allow users to edit and view documents with applications they are already familiar with. Visual cues are used to denote various attributes of documents. For instance, writable documents are denoted by dark borders and unread documents with red borders. Livestream stores all the electronic documents you create and collect. For example, incoming email is automatically appended to the stream. Email arrives, moving the other documents back into the past and eventually moving them out of view, effectively archiving documents automatically. The user may also create new documents by either pressing New or cloning an existing document by first selecting the document and then pressing the Clone button. The new cloned document is added to the stream, ready for the user to edit. The user can also transfer documents to other users through the Transfer button. In this case, Livestreams assumes the user is replying to the sender of the message. Livestreams organizes documents through queries on the fly. These queries result in substreams, which contain all the documents that are relevant to the search query. Substreams continue to collect incoming documents that match the query that created them. A list of existing substreams is kept in the Substreams menu. Substreams may also be created incrementally by substreaming from substreams. In this example, we create a new substream from the previous substream. Doing so results in a set of nested menus. Because documents can exist in overlapping substreams, this is not the same as a hierarchical file system. Substreams persist until the user explicitly removes them. Substreaming acts as both an organizational framework and as an inexpensive way of finding information. By default, Livestreams presents the user with a view of the stream from the present receding into the past. A Livestream also contains a future portion which is accessible but usually hidden from view. The Livestreams interface contains a clock that displays the current time. This time may be temporarily reset to the future to observe the future part of the stream. Here the user is dialing two months into the future. Note that the clock has changed to red to indicate that we are no longer in the present. Notice the new set of documents now on the stream with dates that are in the future. When the user dials back to the present, future documents are again hidden from view. When the time of a future document passes into the present, the document arrives at the user stream just as if new mail had arrived. Future documents can be used for reminding and scheduling. We've added the functionality to deposit documents in the future in one step. For example, if we add a document one minute in the future, then the document should appear before this demo is over. Livestreams allows users to summarize information by squishing a substream down into an overview. An overview document could summarize any aspect of a person's electronic life, a log of phone calls, a summary of correspondence, or a report of your financial status. We've implemented a few initial summarize operations. 
In this example, we demonstrate the portfolio summary. The user selects a portfolio substream. This stream contains daily closing prices of the securities in our imaginary portfolio. By summarizing the documents in the substream, the user squishes the data into a historical chart showing each security's performance. Summarize operations allow users to distill the information in a large number of similar documents into a single overview. Live streams can also be used to integrate information from the outside world. Here the user chooses a substream that contains web bookmarks. Clicking on a bookmark brings up a web browser that will open the chosen URL. The user may also add a bookmark within the browser, which results in a new document being added to the bookmark substream. If another user mails a bookmark, it will also be added to the stream. Live streams is a new metaphor for managing our electronic lives. As we have seen, it allows users to organize and find information, manage schedules and reminders, make use of archived information, get a big picture, and integrate with outside information sources.